Hi everybody. If you've been keeping up with the channel, you know that I recently purchased myself a new Dell desktop computer. I purchased it on Thanksgiving Day. It was a gobble gobble turkey special on bestbuy.com, $500 for the tower, 24 inch LED screen, keyboard, and optical mouse. And this wasn't a luxury purchase. This was a necessity because prior to this machine, I had a 10-year-old eMachines PC that really wasn't able to keep up with editing videos. I have a really nice Toshiba laptop in the other room, but my wife has kind of laid claim to that machine to watch Doctor Who, which I have no use for. I never believed in uh, time traveling in a phone booth with a bow tie and a wool sweater. But to each his own. I don't have anything against it. I just know that that's the computer I like to use to edit my videos, but British sci-fi takes precedent on that machine. So I needed to get a new computer for the office. So I got the computer home, I got it set up, I started learning about it, getting to know it, and then it promptly stopped working and I had to perform a full factory reset. If you are in the unfortunate circumstance of needing to perform a factory reset on Windows 8, you can check out this video right here. But today, I want to show you how to overcome one of my first irritations that I experienced with Windows 8. This is Windows 8. This is the start screen, which is basically just a billboard for all of the third-party software vendors that supplement Microsoft for being able to put their garbage on the screen here. So we have a billboard here for McAfee, eBay. Anyway, I don't like that, but the, what I want to show you how to do today is turn the computer off without a lot of hassle. Call me old-fashioned, but when I'm finished using my computer, I turn it off. I turn off the machine, I switch off the power strip. That's just the way I operate. I don't like to waste power. I know that some folks say you're supposed to let the computer run all the time. It's better for the hard drives or something, but that's beyond the scope of this video. I've made my decision about turning the computer off. I'm just going to show you how to do it easily. On Windows 8, in order to turn off the computer, it takes four actions. This is one more action than Windows XP required, I believe, and it is two more actions than Windows 7 required. I like Windows 7. Start, shut down, done. Walk away from it, go eat your cherry pie or whatever. But Windows 8 has gone two steps backward. I don't, I don't know why. Maybe they don't want you interacting with the machine so much that you would actually shut down the hardware. See, they don't like you to get into the mechanics of the machine, which is kind of ironic because the more I get to know Windows 8, the more I find myself using old-fashioned methods of accessing programs like, uh, I like the Windows Run dialog box. But anyway, you're getting bored with this, though there will be a comment down below the video that says if you want to learn how to do it, skip to uh, 10 minutes and 38 seconds into the video. So here's how Microsoft would prefer you shut down the computer. The factory recommended method for turning off a Windows 8 computer is to move the cursor over to the lower right hand corner of the screen activating the charms bar. This is not to be confused with a Lucky Charms bar, which would have 
whole grain and marshmallowy goodness inside with a rich chocolate coating outside. A delectable confection that exists only in my dreams. But to turn off the computer, activate the charms bar, click on settings, click on power, and then click on shut down. That's four steps that the computer user must take just to turn off the machine, which I think is tedious and cumbersome. To create a much easier method of turning off the computer, we first have to navigate to the desktop, and we're going to create an off button that will appear on the desktop and on the silly Metro screen. To do this, we're going to right click anywhere on the desktop and click New and click Shortcut. Next, we're going to type in a cryptic little command here shut down space forward slash P. This command tells the computer that when our off button is clicked, any open programs must be closed and the computer needs to shut down immediately. So click Next, and then you can name your off button anything you like. I choose Off button. You could name it Solace from Elec. Tronica, if you want, but this is your decision to make. So we'll click Finish, and you'll see right here on the left-hand side of the screen, you now have your Off button. But we're not done yet. I like to customize things and really make my computer my own. So let's right-click on the Off button, click Properties, click Change Icon, never mind about this dialog box, and we can select a suitable icon for our off button. You can select a 5 and 1 quarter inch floppy disk drive. You can select a green tree, a padlock, any number of things. I think I'm going to go with the Windows XP throwback off button. Click OK. OK again. And now we have a spiffy looking way to quickly shut down our computer. But ladies and gentlemen, we still aren't done. Right click on the off button again, click pin to start, and you'll find clear as day if you navigate to your silly metro start screen, you'll find a duplicate of our off button. So the last step in putting this project through its paces is to see if this mouse click saving method of turning off the computer truly delivers what it promises. So let's turn off the computer. Shut it down! Shut it down! Off! And that's beautiful. Sometimes silence and a blank computer screen are really serene. Goodbye, technology. Goodbye, struggles of the day. Hello, meditation, inner truth, tranquility. Thanks for watching.